to the boxing ring where your former teammate Le'Veon Bell and Adrian Peterson are going to be boxing in an exhibition match July 30th at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Ike, you're going to be there. This is going to be incredible. I'll be there. I, I told Le'Veon. I told Le'Veon. I told him I'll be there. He said, pull up. So that's that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and slide out there. I'm going to support my old teammate, man, because he, he's been doing this for a while. For he he's been and now he's really seriously getting into it. So I was telling people, man, like I I think I had the lowest body fat percentage. I was like at a three point seven, and Le'Veon was like at a four a four point a four point something. Le'Veon was like a four point or five, whatever. The next year we get a training camp. The next year I'm like at a three point seven again. But I see I'm in second place. I'm like, man, who beat me with the body fat? They said, Le'Veon. I said, man, get the heck out of here. They said, yeah, he's at 3.0. I said, what What in the world? Like, the dude just then shredded up. Like, that's how competitive he was. All he did, all he did was drink water and fruit. That's that's all he did. But um, he's into this boxing now. So, you know, boxing, you gotta watch your weight, you gotta stay, you gotta stay in shape, you gotta stay healthy. So that won't be an issue for him. Um, Adrian Peterson, from my personal experience, going against him and see him, he's just a freak of nature. <laughs> so that's that's exactly what he is. Like he just wake up shredded, don't have to lift a weight in the world. You know, big calf muscles, uh, lean, got a twelve pack, not an eight, not a six, got a twelve pack. But he just wake up like that, just getting out of the bed. So this this is gonna be a good one. But I got Le'Veon all day. I'm gonna go to BetOnline.ag and make sure I put some money on Le'Veon Bell. Yes, Le'Veon Bell is actually the favorite, Ike. And I thought early on, I put on a poll on my Twitter account saying who's going to win this match. Adrian Peterson has more name recognition nationally. So everyone's like, oh, AP. But then I looked at their playing weights. They're both 6'1". Adrian Peterson listed at 220. Le'Veon Bell was 244. Yeah, so AP, AP. he's a little bit bigger. He's yeah. much younger oh. than AP as well. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, let, so let me, I was this, surprised about that. But hey, but do though, like I don't know what AP does. I don't know his boxing resume, but this will this will Le'Veon do I'm, for sure. This will Le'Veon do, and he is naturally Le'Veon is a big. He got a big base. He got tree trunks as 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 legs. So, um, Adrian Peterson is more cut like me, lean and cut, but he's just a bigger version of an Ike Taylor. Like he, the dude is the dude is built real well for Le'Veon is built well too he's just naturally if he wanted to be 250 he can be 250 it'll be hard for Adrian Peterson to get up to 230 and not have problems with his back so his, his back or his knees but that's just the natural weight from Le'Veon Bell now we shall see what Le'Ve- Le'Veon might come in at 230 or if he really won't look good and show his body off he might slide that thing at 225 but yeah I'm gonna take Le'Veon all day on that one Yes, much younger, Ike, 30 years old, Bell. Peterson, the former league MVP, 37. And again, Bell's actually favored if you look at the odds. Now, I know Peterson's like renowned to have a death grip of a handshake. And I've got a bunch of quotes here of people who have talked to him, who have interviewed him, who have been teammates with him, where it's just like he could easily break your hand just based on a handshake. So I know Adrian Peterson is strong as hell too, but I can't Don, wait to watch this. Go ahead. Don, we call them old people hands. We call them old mechanic hands. <laughs> if, you, if you look at them old down south mechanics, where their hands just all cut up, they don't use no gloves, they knuckles big as hell. That's 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 AP. Like AP got that old that old <laughs> them old people hands, man. That that old death, bro. That's something else. Like, uh, when this is all said and done, we should take both of our body fat percentage and we'll see if I can get down to the, the 3%. I got to get on the Ike Taylor diet. Yeah, I just, I just, I just did my uh, body fat. I was sitting at 5.7. It's pretty good, Ike. That, that, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. So, again, this fight will be on July 30th in L.A. Comes after, I know, Frank Gore fought Darren Williams. So, a lot of athletes kind of crossing over into the boxing ring now, too. And 
you're talking about two players who could still probably play in the NFL somewhere if they wanted to, but I'm excited to watch this. And it started out as a rumor where it's just like, oh, okay, maybe we'll have some fun with this, but this fight's actually going to be happening, Ike, and uh, it's no, it's, it's going to be fish. fun. It's so fish. Chris, so, uh, uh, was supposed to fight somebody else. Somebody else backed off, so they wind up getting Le'Veon. All right. All right. And Ike Taylor's going to be in the building. So as we get closer to that, Ike, we'll bring that back up on right. what your experience is out in La La Land. I'm really looking forward to that.